New season, new scent. The 10 fragrances you need to check out this spring. Hi guys, so why are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to this new video. Now we are, we're actually into my favorite season, spring. Everything feels fresh, it feels bright, new life, little lambs jumping about, you know, you know the deal. And it's also really my favorite season for fragrance because you can get rid of those heavier, oudier, although I do love ouds, musks, and think about things which have a lot more energy to them. So I've gone through some of my fragrances, quite a lot of fragrances, and pulled out 10 top fragrances for this season. Now, I should say all of them, as ever, are on the Man From Self product pages. There is loads going on there and also a full article. So you can check out all these fragrances and the best prices. At number 10 is Cousin Matthew from Penhaligon's Portraits collection. Now, this is lighter and brighter than some of the other portraits ones that I absolutely love. But this has got mandarin on the top, it's got petty grain on the middle of the heart, and then on the base is patchouli. So you've got this instant kicky, kicky zestiness from the mandarin, but then levels out something a lot more earthy. Um, this will be linked on that product page, as well as the best prices around. Moving swiftly through these top ones, at number nine, I've got an absolute classic. It's Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mal, but it's their essence. Now, this is a reinterpretation of the original Le Mal. You'll know that one, you know, with this great sailor Breton stripes. This one is sexier. It's, I think, slightly heavier. It's more mature, really. And I think if you like those lighter, brighter fragrances of spring, but you still want something with a great grounding, this could be the one for you. At number eight is Larger Sand Perfumer, Mou et Musque Extreme. This is so berrylicious, I'm gonna say. Blackberry in there, you've got orange blossom. It is so beautiful. And because it's the extreme version, it just sits so well on the skin and it lasts. Seriously, one of my absolute favorite brands. At seven, it's Jimmy Choo Man Blue. Now this one actually is the most recent one. It came out in 2018. This really is perfect for a guy, maybe you, that doesn't want an overly powerful fragrance. You know, it feels masculine, it's got leather in it, it's got sandalwood, but you've also got those top notes of bergamot. So that really does bring it into spring. Also more commercial, so slightly cheaper. Best prices on manfromself.com. At number six, we've got Dunhill Icon Racing. I absolutely love Dunhill Icon. I love Dunhill Icon, absolutely. This one, which was released in 2017, is an eau de parfum. It stays very much with the sort of Icon family, so really great fragrances at last. But this one is perfect for spring, because, for spring because you've got bergamot, you've also got grapefruits, something a little bit more sour, and then cardamom, which has got this really great spice to it. But then it sort of levels out more with the vetiver and musk. So a fragrance is going to last in your skin, and perfect for the warmer seasons. At number five and into my top five is Hermenegil de Zenia. Try again. Hermenegil de Zenia Aqua de Iris. There you go. I love this one. I think it's so different from everything else in this top 10 because it's got violet leaves. And violet leaves are something which gives it a slight sweetness to it. So almost think of Parmet Violet Sweets. Take that, level it down slightly, and add a bit of citrus. That is your boy right there. Also, Xenia fragrances really do last, and they are so unique. At number four, we have L'Envol de Cartier, and this smells as good as this looks. This bottle is amazing, it smells so great. This one has got citrus notes, like everything else we've just shown, but because it's got honey in the base, it adds a warmth and a sweetness to that citrus. I think it's so elegant, it's maybe for a guy who might, I say slightly older, it's for a guy that loves fragrance, and a guy that wants to invest in something really, Beautiful. At number three is a collaboration between Joe Malone and Huntsman. Now, Huntsman are a London based tailor brand actually on Savile Row. Joe Malone is a London fragrance brand. They've come together and created four fragrances, which came out last year. But this one is one of my absolute favorites from this. This is whiskey and cedarwood. It's got a spicy opening, there's pimento in there. It comes down into whiskey and it levels off on cedarwood. I find this fragrance so sexy. It's like so I'm gonna say alluring. You know, when you spray this, when you wear it, you feel good about yourself, you feel confident, you wanna stick a suit on and absolutely own it. Now, guys, as with all of these and the other Joe Malone fragrances, I have linked them down below and also on manfromself.com. Loads going on, go and check it. You can also leave your own reviews. And at number two, we have got Bulgari Man Wood Essence. Now, you might be thinking, Wood Essence? Do I really wanna be wearing a woody fragrance into spring? Yes, you do, because it's very much about the citrus, yes, of course, the citrus openings, and then it levels out onto this wood fragrance. I just think Bulgari fragrances are luxury for the skin. I love the Tiga one, you might remember I did that. 
That is so beautiful. This, in terms of price point, is far more accessible. So if you wanna be getting into these, then check it out. As of all of these guys, get into a shop, have a sniff, and see what sits well with you. Now, number one, the one you've all been waiting for, we have got, is by Goutal Paris. This is Bois de Hadrian. Now, this brand, you might know as a neat Goutal, it rebranded in 2018. It was actually set up in 1981. There you go, a little bit of history for you. But this is so supremely elegant. When I first smelled this, I just thought, this is literally what a fragrance should be like. It smells rich, it smells great on the skin. You've got these great openings of Tuscan citrus fruits, a heart of cypress and Siberian pine, and then a really great woody base. I mean, just look at the bottle. This absolutely oozes luxury. It's not cheap, but it is an eau de parfum, so it will last longer than eau de toilette. And really what I love about doing this whole sort of fragrance edit, especially in these different seasons, is I get to pick out some brands that I don't really see in marketing, I don't see in magazines, but brands that just create the most beautiful things. So, I mean, Goutal might be a brand you know, or maybe not, let me know in the comments below. Also, any other brands that you've been trying or things that I should be checking out, I have to know. But guys, again, all of these are linked on manfromself.com. More information about the notes, top, heart, and base, and also all the best prices. So if you wanna do some reading, you wanna get in the fragrance zone, head there now. But thank you very much for watching. Let me know what fragrance you're wearing at the moment or any favorites for spring and summer, and I shall check them out. Now, if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then hit it. Hit it right now. The button is just there. This room is full of fragrance. I'm gonna pass out. There's also more video suggestions down there. Head there. The blog posts are there. Social, including the blog article and my Instagram up there. Door is gonna be open, window's gonna be open. I'm off. Bye-bye.